YTPC Padre coming to you via the virtual airwaves of YouTube to say hello there YouTube how are you doing I hope you're doing well in fact I hope you're finding all the blessings that the Lord has in store for you you've heard me say it before I'm gonna say it again when you start to count your blessings you'll begin to find more reasons to thank the Lord for the blessings you have blessings that are identified and offered in prayers of gratitude beget more blessings it's a game changer tell you what tell you what else is a game changer go around in an attitude of grump and gripe you'll find more reasons to be grumpy and gripey I could be grumpy and gripey because just now my tamper hit the ground my, my pipe cleaner hit the ground but I got a cup of hot Java my country squire to back in his coffee mug I can reach right on over and pick up the tamper and the pipe cleaner and be good I'm just gonna give thanks hey so country square I don't have my BRTV mug I do I actually finally brought it to work with me to sitting on my desk but this is what was closer to the coffee pot so I've got that but that, that's a good chance for me to remind you that over on the virtual airwaves of BRTV that's Briar Report Television Old Padres teaming with Mark V via the Briar Bothy, and we are smoking through the series sampler from the Middle Earth series from Country Squire Tobacconist. We got episode one up on BRTV. We, uh, we launched it uh, taking on Old Toby from the Middle Earth series, Country Squire Tobacconist, and at the end of this month, last Saturday of this month, we're going to go ahead and post episode two where we're going to uh, taste bag and it's not too late for you to get to be a part of this you can uh, you can go over to country squire tobacconist and order the sampler for yourself am i smoking a little country squire tobacco today actually actually i'm not i'll tell you what i'm smoking i am enjoying if we do a little house cleaning this beautiful Sal Vanelli Oceano and in it I am enjoying something that I know old Sergeant Savinelli likes and it's this C&D small batch Sun Bear this is the 2019 batch and of course last week they released another batch for 2020 and of course it sold out very quickly and so if you were looking to get yourself a couple of tins of that I hope you had some luck doing it I did I had some luck I got a few tins to put in storage down in the old cellar and I picked up a couple of other things in that order too just because I was taking advantage of free shipping let me show you what I got here. Two things that uh, I've not had before. In fact, I'd kind of given up on trying to even find something to scratch this itch. Anybody who knows me knows I like a good black coffee. Ah, that's good. What I have found is disappointment in getting uh, pipe blends to well represent the coffee flavor and I've been through several of them this is one that I decided I was going to go ahead and pick up and I know this isn't uh, strictly a coffee uh, but more of a coffee and chocolate I would imagine since it's called mocha by C&D what's the tin say uh, this should appeal to the coffee lover as well as those around you it's half number 305 espresso and half number 700 a dark chocolate a rich chocolate flavor on an all black cavendish base clearly an aromatic 
going to give that a shot at some point. And also this, this is newer, a newer offering if I'm not mistaken, from a brand called Cobblestone. And this is called simply Black Coffee. And I've seen some people talking about this Cobblestone series and speaking highly of it. And so I figured, hey, why not? I can give it a try. And so I uh, picked up some of uh, those, those two uh, along with um, my batch of Sun Bear and happy to have that delivered. Now, I had something else delivered and I hope I don't make this person upset because they asked me, they want some amenity and I can appreciate that. And I'm gonna give them that because I don't know who this is. Um, so I'm gonna read you the little note they wrote says, uh, Padre Piper, I hope you don't mind. I am sending you two tins um, of tobacco, one opened and the other not. I tried the tobacco, but at last uh, it does not agree with me. I did notice in one of your videos that you enjoyed it. If you don't want it, please find a home for it. I'm not a formal member, so to say, of the YTPC. You know you are. You don't have to be a presenter to be a member of the YTPC. We're just a we're just a little community on YouTube that comes together around our passion for our little hobby. He says, but I do monitor a number of video presenters. Please don't mention where or who it is from. Blessings, brother. Well, I tell you what, I won't because in the return address there was no name. There was no name in this little bro note, and so um, I'm not going to mention it, and I hope that person was okay with me reading that. What they sent me was a couple of tins of Blue Note, which I have been known to enjoy. Uh, and not an easy blend to get a hold of. I find a lot of these Dan tobaccos um, are difficult, and actually this doesn't say Dan. This says... Uh, Corbin Donsk, which I'm going to have to look that up because last time I had Blue Note, oh, it does say Dan Tobacco Company at the top. Okay, they just changed the, they changed the, the tin just a tiny bit there, I guess. So one's open and must have a bowl or two taken out of it and the other one unopened. That's very kind to whoever you are. I hope I didn't upset you uh, by bringing it, uh, attention to it, but I wanted to say thank you. So thank you. And then I wanted to share one other thing. There was a time back where I uh, had gotten a, a very nice gift from overseas from our friend who goes by Red Coats Return. And man, if you saw that video, actually two videos, one of them had poor sound, so I kind of redid the presentation. Another, I'm going to light this back up just because I want to get a little taste of this, and it's already gone out since I've been talking too much. Mmm. So nice. But anyway, old Red Coats Return sent me several tins of Samuel Goweth St. James Flake and just really very kindly sent me a whole bunch of other good stuff. So appreciative. And I was starting to clean out the office the other day and I still had the box and um, I had taken... I think I'd taken all the tins out and such and all the other goodies he sent and I felt something the box still felt kind of heavy which kind of puzzled me a little bit so I dug around and I realized sitting at the bottom of the box was this this tin and this is a tin of chocolate isn't that something I'm going to try and open up and not spill it now you got to remember, he lives in Switzerland, which of course is known for their chocolate. Isn't that cool? A tin, it says, uh, not that I'm very good at reading other languages. I'm not even good at reading English, are you kidding me? It says Bergenstock, I guess. And you can see the Swiss Alps in the back. So, I say all that to say thank you, Redcoats Return, because I totally missed that. 
in the Yabo that I did previously for you. I don't know how I came to miss that, but I did. But I'm very appreciative, and I'm so glad I found it before I threw the box out. My goodness gracious. I also want to say thank you to the YTPC for the support you've shown for my latest project that I'm calling Padre and Pals. My first pal was Sarge, Sarge and Savinelli. He joined me, and we released that video last week, July the 31st. Um, and um, folks have really seemed to, enjoy, number one, they enjoyed seeing Sarge because Sarge has been very busy with work and such. He's just been away from the virtual airwaves. And they seem to receive the concept of uh, Padre and Pals, the way we're going to do the little program. It seemed to be something that people like, and so I'm looking forward to doing more episodes in that. Um, and I'm looking maybe to approximately every month or so uh, do a Padre and Pals. I'm not going to try and hold myself to any hard and fast schedule. I just I don't like doing that because it kind of takes the fun out of it. And it was really a fun thing to record. And so um, I've got some folks who have uh, agreed to come on with me, and I'm hoping that. Hey, sometime toward the end of this month, we'll have episode number two of Padre and Pals up on the virtual airwaves, and uh, hopefully, um, hopefully it'll be just as well received, and folks will have a good time uh, as I virtually sit down for a bowl with another member of our community. And my goodness, is this community blessed with wonderful members? So uh, I'm not going to tell you who number two is. Uh, but there will be a number two, an episode two of Padre and Pals coming up. And a three, and a four, and a five, and a six, and Lord willing, many more. Because, uh, again, there's just so many, so many good people in this community. My goodness, this is, I see why Sarge uh, totally enjoyed this Virginia treat known as Sun Bear. My goodness. This is a naturally sweet taste in Virginia with a little bit of a honey topping. I think a little bit of maybe a boozy topping to it as well. Both uh, sort of a playing in the background. I know folks fight about is it an aromatic or not. I, you know, I don't think it's present enough. It's more of a casing. I don't know. I'm not going to argue whether this is an aromatic or not. Who cares? If you like it, enjoy it. Uh, it's a Virginia tobacco from C&D. It's their small batch, you guys know. I've been a little critical of the whole small batch phenomenon and such, but what can I say? This is a good one. And uh, at the end of the day, I'm glad I picked up a couple of tins of the 2020 version of it as well keep that uh, on hand and in the cellar. This uh, opened and was a little wet and so it's been just in the tin like this with the cap on for about a week and I'm getting ready to go ahead and put it in the jar. It's lost a little bit of its moisture. Uh, still going to probably, even after I jar it, require a little bit of drying time before smoking it and that's okay. Um, you know, some tobaccos, they just require that sort of treatment and again it's it's just, it's okay. What are you going to do about it? I don't like to over dry it and then have to try and rehydrate it. Um, I would just rather keep it a little bit wetter than it need be and kind of dry it as you go. So, I don't know what you guys have going or gals at this time, but I just wanted to take a few brief moments on the virtual airwaves of the YTPC on this Thursday after work to say hello, check in, thank whoever that was that sent me that lovely gift. Um, I hope I respected uh, your request of remaining anonymous as best I can since I don't know who you are. I hope you don't mind me showing it off um, because I'm just, I wanted to do that just because I'm so appreciative that you thought of me and you went through the effort of tracking me down and finding out where I am and such. And so uh, I really truly am appreciative of that. And um, 
I hope you, if you haven't had a chance yet to see the episode one of Padre and Pals, that you go over and check that out. It's exclusively on Briar Report Television. Hey friends, this is Padre uh, being bi-locational. I'm in my office now. That was a mistake. I meant to say, if you want to check out episode one of the Middle Earth series, go on over to Briar Report Television. Episode one of Padre and Pals is right here on the YTPC. Back outside. And um, check out briarreport.com when you go on over that way too. Always, always uh, full of good information. Uh, Phil does a great job with keeping that, uh, that news aggregate site uh, up and running and, and up to date with really, really good information for all of us that impacts uh, all sorts of areas of our little hobby here. Hey, listen, I'm going to go enjoy, finish enjoying this uh, Sabinelli Oceano filled up with some Sun Bear. And so that also means that uh, I'm going to go ahead and sign off for now. Till we're together again on the virtual airways, this is Padre wishing you and yours God's peace, grace, and blessings. <laughs>